All right, so in our previous two lessons, we already seen how um, object-oriented programming works by using a class and extending an existing class. Um, today, we're going to look at how object-oriented programming works by using something called an interface. So to get started, I'm going to create an interface. I'm going to right click on the package and go to new and instead of creating a class i'm gonna create an interface and i'm gonna enter the interface name so i'm gonna call it operator click finish so now i have an interface called operator and I'm not going to make it public I'm just going to make it a regular interface using the default and within this interface I'm gonna declare a default method so this is something new for Java 8 And the, the return type is going to be void, so there's no returning value. And I'll call this method display method. So basically, it's just going to print out the values that I'm passing in. I'm, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm passing in an integer called x, another integer called y, and... I'm passing in an operator. So it's going to be a string. And I'm passing in an integer for the result for z. So basically, we're, we're creating a calculator uh, similar to our previous two lessons. But in the previous two lessons, we, we extended a class to create an, a calculator. In this case, we're going to use uh, an interface to create, to create this calculator. So basically, my method is just going to print out the, uh, the equation, the um, the expression so it's going to be x plus the operator I'm going to insert the space in there and then I'm going to insert the operator plus let's put in another space and then it's going to be the value of y so the value of x, the operator, the value of y equals to the total, which is the value of z. So those are all input parameters, x, y, z, and the operator. The, this method is just printing it out. It doesn't do anything fancy. Um, in addition to that default method, And I need the plus sign here. In addition to that default method, I'm going to have another method, which is not going to return the value. And I'll call it op, op. This method is going to take in an integer x, an integer y, and an, a string operator. Now this method is gonna have it's not gonna have a body, so I'm gonna leave it open. So whichever class is implementing this interface is gonna have to provide the logic for this method right here. This method has no logic, no no body, nothing at all. It's just there so that the child, the, the child class who implement this interface has to provide the logic for it. 
all right so that's my interface um that's all it needs so now when you go to create a, a child class so here i have a child class called add operator let me move this down here so you can see and i'll put this in as well some extra information there okay so here you have the interface and now we're going to implement that interface so what you do is you create a class like we always do and here we're going to add some keyword in we're going to say implement and then the interface name so our interface is operator i can just copy paste it here so now my class is implementing this interface and you see there's a the, there's some kind of error here there's some red mark so let's see, say let's see what it wants so it wants to add the unimplemented method remember I mentioned this one this method has no body and whichever class is implementing this interface is gonna have to provide the logic for this method so that that's what the error is so what we want to do is we want to add unimplemented methods and there it is we can remove this it's fine um so now i'm gonna have to put in the logic in here for this method in my class so basically i just want to um call the uh, display method the default method to print out the equation so I'm gonna do display and then I need to pass in four different parameters so I'm gonna pass in X which is the input parameter to this method right so it's gonna be X Y the uh, operator the string operator let me see um x y the string operator so it's gonna be up and then the uh, result the result for the add operator is gonna be x plus y right so i'm passing in x y those are input parameters here operator that's also an input parameter and then x plus y because we're doing the the add operator class just put semicolon in there and then we're all set so that is my add operator class and then I'm gonna do the same thing to uh, the uh, subtract so here I have add I have subtract here Let me put the space in there make it look the same I have add I have subtract with the subtract the only difference is it's gonna be x minus y here I have multiplication where the result is going to be x multiplied by y and now we're gonna do the division so for division let's do the same thing so first we want to add the uh, unimplemented method I'm going to remove this and then we're going to do the display I'll just copy it from here from the add I'm going to put it in here and basically it's going to be x divided by y save it and there we have it so we have one 
class for each operation. We have one for add, one for subtraction, one for multiplication, and one for division. Okay, so now let's try and run it. So I'm going to go to my main runner here. So basically in the main runner, I define four constant values, add, subtract, multiply, and multiplication, and division. And then um, basically uh, I'm defining, here I'm defining four different objects, one of each type. So I have an object of type operator. So all these objects, these four objects, they're all of the same type operator, but actually this one is uh, of type add operator. This one is of, of type uh, subtract operator. This one is multiplication and this one is for division. So they're all coming from the same operator uh, interface, but they each have a, uh, a different type, different class. Here I'm just uh, reading in the user's input, so I'm asking for the first number, the second number, and the operator. Same as our previous two lessons. And based on the operator that the, the user enter, I'm gonna use the uh, add operator object, or the subtract, or the multiply, or the divide operator class based on what the user entered. All right, so let's see how this works. I'm going to run it. And it says, enter the first integer. So let's say it's one, one, and it's a plus sign. So one plus one is two. Let's try and run it again. Two, one, minus. Two minus one is one. So we we did the add. We did we did the subtract. Next one, we're gonna do the multiplication. Three, two, multiplication. 3 times 2 is 6. And lastly, we're going to do the division. Two, one, division. 2 divided by 1 is 2. Let's try one more division. How about six divide by oh not yet six three division okay six divided by three is two and let's try one more division how about six zero division and we have an error so it, it crashed the program so uh what i want to do is i want to insert something that so that the program doesn't crash. So here, I just want to put in a try and catch to check the error and catch the error. So I'm putting a try here. And then I'm gonna try and catch the error. And basically, I just want to catch this error here. In case we're trying to divide by zero. And then I'm just going to send a message.
All right. So when whenever the user is trying to divide by zero, I'm going to send this message. And maybe I'll also send the uh, system error message. Let's see what's going on here. Invalid modifier. Oh, you know what? I put it outside of the... Okay, so now it's inside. And let me just indent these. Okay, so now my try catch is inside. Let me put a space there, make it clearer. So I, I put the uh, display because it's trying to do the uh, division here. I just want to put it inside the try so that if there's an error, it's going to go to the catch clause and it's going to execute these two statements. Let's try and run it. Let's see what happened. So first integer six. If I do second integers three, and I'm doing division, then six divided by three is two. That's fine. Let's try to divide by zero this time, and see what happened. 6 divided by 0, it says your answer is close to infinity, but you crashed the program. And that's our statement here. And the next statement, I'm just printing the error, the system error. So it says uh, divide by 0. Alright everyone, so that's how you use interface in Java.